Guys, we're only in an hour into the event, and look, a lot of people already, so we definitely want to get here early. You don't want to miss it, guys. There's a lot of streetwear, a lot of sneakers here. You guys can even do deals on the line. I already saw a couple people making some money on it, you know? So come to Sneaker Exit, get here early. We take care of you. Right now, I want to tell you guys different stuff that you can find at Sneaker Exit besides sneakers. Obviously, you can find sneakers, you can find streetwear, but there's a lot more that you can find, like toys, rugs, vintage stuff. There's a lot of stuff here, guys. So let's take a walk around. Let's do it. What's going on guys? I'm here with Dom and I love your setup, man. Where did you get your inspiration from? So, um, I used to work on houses in high school. I've always been kind of handy. I love sneakers, so I mean, I kind of just decided to fuse them together. So, everything you see here I made um, from scratch, everything. So, dresser right here, uh, Bluetooth speaker right here. I, I, my Bluetooth speaker broke and I was like, I can make a new one, so I just tried it myself. Why not? Yeah, so, type of decor stuff, you know, you got arcade cabinet, skate deck lamp. I just want to be creative, be different, and you know, so what was like your first piece that you're like, you know what, I'm gonna make this and hopefully I'm just gonna take off? Ah, um, I've always been a tinkerer, like I've always tried to make little things, but I think this was like the first, this sneaker speaker is what I call it, was the first big thing that kind of took off. I, like I said, I just made one for myself, posted it, people liked it, and I was like, all right, yeah, I can make as many as y'all need. So that's just been my thing. Ever since then, I've been trying to up the game, up myself, up myself, so. Is it your first time here at the event? This is my first time vending. Well, I've been, I did one vending space someplace else. This is my first time ever doing sneaker exit and ever doing a, a sneaker basic convention. So. All right, guys, you can definitely check out Dom's work at alt underscore builds on Instagram. Hey, I love your work, bro. I hope you keep going, man. Thank you, man. Thanks so much, bro. Appreciate you. Okay, we're here at Secret Exit, and we got my man, uh, Patrick. You can call me Patrick. And bro, your setup is crazy. I actually love all the work that you do. I love these tees. Where'd you get their inspiration from? Um, we got t-shirt from the, um, you know, full print, uh, screen print from the front and back. Yeah, and we do selling online. We do custom for the um, the t-shirt too. This mean like we make only ten or twenty. That's it done. So how did you how did you start? Uh, we start from like. Uh, with the sneaker exit from two years ago, it's like we're getting big, so yeah. we sell a lot. <laughs> yeah. What would you say is like your best-selling tea? Like which one like automatically sells off the racks? Uh, the wrap tea, or uh, the wrap tea is sell a lot, and I uh, go back to ninety for the um the, the cartoon, the anime like Sailor Moon, mm -hmm. like Akira, they come back. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Hey, good luck today. Thank you so much. I'll see you later on the event, right? Guys, I'm here with AJ. AJ, I see a lot of stuff here, a lot of luxury stuff. I'm loving it. Where did you get your inspiration from? Like, why did you want to bring luxury to the event? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm just always been big on designer. You know, it's a, it's a great clientele, and you don't see a lot of people here with designer. You know, um, I have lots of designer shoes, uh, pre-loved, and some of the brand new clothing bags, and you know, all kinds of cool shit. So I definitely agree with you. How long have you been vending at Secret Exit? Dude. Almost like a year and a half now, probably, I think. It's always been a great event. Um, I don't think I've missed an Atlanta sneaker exit ever, to be honest. So That's awesome, bro. I was going to ask, so what advice would you give for someone who wants to start up exactly like you, just sell luxury goods? Learn how to legit check it. <laughs> There's a lot of fake stuff, and, you know, people are really convincing when trying to sell you fake stuff. I mean, I guess it all sorts of sneakers. But, um, you know, it's, it's trial and error, you know. It's... It's tricky to get into, but you know, it's fun, you know, it's good money, so. That's awesome, bro. Hey, do you want to tell the people your Instagram, where we can find you and stuff? My Instagram is only authentics with the X at the end. And uh, just... Check him out, guys. <laughs> All 
What's going on, guys? It's your boy Kev. We're here at Secret Exit, and we're with my man Ziggy. And his setup is crazy. We're gonna give you guys his whole setup right now. Honestly, I love this right here, bro. This is awesome. Let's let's talk about it. Where'd you get this idea from? Well, the idea was originally from me and my um my good friend Ape right over here. He's my business partner. We always work together. He always build the displays and stuff like that for me. So we, we kind of go hand in hand together. Yeah, how'd you get into sneakers? Uh, well, I was always a sneakerhead, even when I was little. So uh, just growing up, I opened up my own store, and I just basically wanted to like you know go and do this for like for the culture. So that's that's why I'm kind of. Where's your store located, man? Uh, we're in Stone Mountain, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Stone Mountain, Georgia. Yep. Instagram. Yep. My Instagram right here is prolific underscore styles. Make sure you follow us on there. And I appreciate it, yeah. Hey, I appreciate you, bro. Right, we're about to do a challenge. I want to know what sneakers can we find here at Secret Exit? under two hundred dollars y'all ready let's do it all right so i want to know what sneakers can we get under 200 at your booth right now under 200 under 200 only this that's it <laughs> we got yeezy slides we got some unreleased dunks under 200 some dunk highs um for 200 a couple of things for 200 you, we, we having fun with it today well, what's your instagram so people can follow you the Connect ATL. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, The Connect ATL. Hey, so what sneakers can we get under 200 at your booth right now? For under 200, man, we got Jordan 1 Low Bread Toe. We got another Jordan 1 Low uh, Smoke Gray. We got the Dunks next to them, the Sun Club Dunks, under 200. Um, we got these Jordans here, patent leather, black metallic, under 200. 14s hyper royal under 200 i should make an under 200 table just hey. for coming up and asking that hey next time you might do it next time hey next table. time hey next time if he does that we're gonna roll this footage back and we're gonna, we're gonna show it that'd be, cool. that'd be cool come check me out i'll be at the next show what's your instagram foot regalia for regalia you check me out on instagram check him out guys all right sneakers on 200 what you got sneakers on the, so we got we got bird toes we got pink primes we got black and blue dunks we got uh, uh, we got Dornbecker Blazers. We got Chicago Dunks. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Marina Blues. We got. It's a lot of stuff. I mean, shoot, we got some slides under 200 too. I mean, whatever you need, we got a whole bunch of flavors for you. Really, let us know. Come on, Shaw, your Instagram. Hype Palace FL. We're from Florida, Tampa, Florida. Representing, my boy. Hype Palace, check them out. Yeah, For under two hundred dollars, would you recommend that you have at your booth right now? Under two hundred. Uh, like a white dunk, it's always a solid pick. Red toe, Jordan one lows, a good colorway. Dunks. There's a lot of dunks that are below two hundred right now that are nice pickups. Yeah, I say dunks. Really, the cheaper dunks. What's up, bro? Watch out your Instagram. Y'all shout it out, it's BGs.CLT. Uh, we're from Charlotte. Check them out. Appreciate it. Hey, so I got a question. What sneaker under $200 would you recommend at your table right now? Sneaker under how much? $200. $200. Uh, these nice, these some nice women's shoes right here. These real hard. I actually love that colorway. Yeah, these two, these are under $100. Got a lot of stuff for the women. What else? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it? Hey, do you guys want to shout you out? Yeah. Underscore Project ATL on Instagram. Check him out. Sneak exit. So far. But what sneakers can I get under two hundred dollars? Can I get anything over here under two hundred? Uh, Shadow uh, Shadow One lows are under two hundred. Um, let me look. Let me roll around here and see. Uh, uh, zoom uh, Zoom greens. The white and gold ones. Let's see. I think there's some, I think some sizes, some sizes in the satin ones are right at. It's a lot of options under 200, I'm loving it. So, tried to get, tried to get a good variety. Um, yeah, there's some Jordan 3 Fire Reds that are 150, so. Hey, that's yeah. a good deal. Do you guys make your own cases? Uh, yeah, I started this about a year and a half ago. Hey, that's awesome. So, what 
what inspired you to like start your cases, start vending? Like, what was the inspiration of it? Um, I was really wanting to do a display at my house, like have a sneaker room at the house, and all the cases I was finding were either really cheap or really expensive. There wasn't like a, a really good quality kind of middle ground. So I was I was personally looking for a case for about 25 bucks, and I was like couldn't find it so I was like look I'm gonna go out and, and make this and so that's what I did I started started this company it's called Fort Knox Sneaker Vault so you can check out the website fortknoxsneakervault.com um, and we've got cases on there low top high top 25 bucks they're stackable and they drop from the side sorry they drop from the side so you can put your shoes in sideways to see the side view instead of the front or the back that was a, another thing I didn't really care about or care for in a lot of cases is you'd slide them in front front or back. Uh, I want to see the side of the shoe when I'm looking at it. So, yeah. Hey, I love the idea, man. The cases, they're really nice. They're beautiful, actually. What? The line is crazy. You want to get here early. VIP ticket. If not, get here early. Admission is $25 to the door. Definitely, guys. You see all these people. Look, the line. Look at the line right now. Crazy. Yeah, definitely get here early, guys. You don't want to miss it, okay? Sneaker exit is the place to be. Streetwear, vintage. A lot of stuff, guys. Right? Guys, I'm here with Little Man Kicks. How old are you? I'm 13. What started? What was your inspiration for like starting selling sneakers? Well, to be honest, it has to be probably Common Hype. Yes. What about Common Hype that you like? Everything about them. They're cashing out videos. They're in-store videos. I just love like they're the best content. What sneaker inspired you? Like, what was your first sneaker that you know what? I want to get into a sneaker game with this sneaker. Probably the Dunk Low UNC. To be honest, probably this one. How many sneakers do you have in your collection right now? Um, I currently have like four pairs. Yes, sir. All right, since you're young, what other young advice would you give to these young sellers? Like, this is how you start, this is where you want to be. What advice do you want to tell the people right now? To be honest, like, I'll start with, like, $100, go thrifting and find shoes there. Like, a Plato's Closet, um, Goodwill, and you will find a lot of good stuff there. It's how I found a lot of good stuff. I love it. I love the advice. Is this your first time here at Sneaker Exit? It's actually my third time here. Third, third time? Yo, he's his third time. He's a young entrepreneur. Bro, I love it, man. I love it. Hey, where can the people find you? Oh, and they can find me on Instagram at Little Man Kicks. Little Man Kicks. Hey, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hey, so I want to know, what sneakers have you sold so far? Uh, I've sold a lot of Jordan 1 lows and mids. So do you think those are the best in like your booth? Because this, this whole thing's your booth. It's a lot of sneakers. It wraps around. That's awesome. So what was your inspiration? Like, what made you start? I saw one of my friends make $800 in a day, and that started me to do this. How long have you been doing this? About a year now. How long have you been vending with Sneaker Exit? Uh, the last six months, probably. Awesome. So, what's like the best-selling shoe in your booth? Jordan One Lows, like these. These sell really well for me. That's awesome, bro. Where can the people find you at? Uh, on Instagram, gorilla.kicks underscore ga. I'm Atlanta-based. Atlanta-based guys, check him out. Appreciate, it, guys. Good luck, bro. What's going on, guys? I'm here with Sebastian. And dude, your setup, I like it so far. It's very clean. The rug definitely stands out. So, let me ask you, where did your sneaker inspiration come from? Uh, my inspiration came from just people at school, you know, seeing them with fresh kicks. Uh, made me really want some fresh kicks, you know. <laughs> How long have you been vending at Sneaker Exit? Uh, sneaker Exit, uh, I've been here for, I've been vending at Sneaker Exit for a year. What would you say is like the highlight shoe that like sells the most for you? Most, I say uh, right now is the Shadow Lows and the Military Blacks right now. Um, what would you give, like what? What tips would you give like a young reseller or like a young vendor who's new to the game, to, you know, to start off? Yeah, uh, just be consistent. Consistency is key. Uh, don't give up. Some days you're gonna do amazing. Some days you're gonna do slow. It's just about keeping keeping consistency. That's what's up, bro. Hey, let's talk about your fit. What you got on? Uh, I got my St. John's on. I got some brown Nike shorts and a black Nike tee. I appreciate your time, bro. Hey, where can the people find you at? Uh, Restock Atlanta on Instagram and on Facebook. Appreciate it, man. What's going on, guys? I'm here with Nate. Nate, I love this setup, man. How long have you been into sneakers? Like, what sneaker was the first sneaker you're like, you know what? I want to start a business today. I don't know if it's the first sneaker, but my very first Jordan. My mom was a military. My dad was military, so... 
One Christmas, they decided to fly us all the way to Germany. And at the PX, which is their shopping center, there's no tax and Jordans are cheaper there. So my first pair of Jordans was the Jordan 7 hair. So that I had to be about in third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. seventh grade when I got those. And then that's what did it for me as far as becoming a sneakerhead. After I got that pair, I needed to have every pair that released. Uh, as far as my business, I've been I started on eBay 2005. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. And at the time, sneakers were hot, but they weren't super hot. You either loved them or you, you know, you wore them, but they weren't super hot. So I believe the Jordan, don't quote me, but the shoe that got me really selling, I was selling way before on eBay, runners and, you know, track shoes and all that. But the shoe that got me started really seeing how much money you could make was the Jordan 23. The Jordan 23 was the shoe that changed it for me because those shoes were the first shoes that I ever saw resell for $300 or more. You know, you could get the OGs and all of that, but that particular shoe, I went to a store, I grabbed a few of them, I put them on eBay. And you sold them. And, and they sold within seconds. I love it. Then I began going around to all the stores in the city buying this Jordan 23, it was the black and gray one. And by the end of two weeks, because they were just sitting there, I had sold over 116 pair. So that's when I really started selling, 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 and making a business out of it. I love it. Hey, what advice would you give for anyone that's new, coming in, trying to sell a booth, trying to sell sneakers? What's your best advice that you give that person right now? The way to make a living in selling sneakers is very simple. You can either be the first with it, but that's kind of sketchy. So if you can get your hands on early pairs, you're gonna win that way. If you can have it on release day, you're gonna win that way. And if you can have it six months from now, you're gonna, you're gonna win that way. But once everybody has their sneakers, what really sells is stuff that no one can get anymore. All the hype. You can make a living stacking and selling only hype sneakers. Cause, Travis Scott's, any collabs, chunky donkeys, anything limited is the way you keep longevity and selling sneakers. Hey, I love it, man. I appreciate your time. Where can the people find you at? Uh, it's right here at The Bomb Factory, www.thebombfactory.com. Instagram, The Bomb Factory. Twitter, The Bomb Factory. And the website's getting revamped. It should be coming at you real soon. Sneaker exit. Check them out. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. All right.